Hello everyone, it's Buddy from the Two Hand. Welcome back to episode two on the Smelt EMC server. Wow, I'm doing a second episode, that's amazing. We are here in the base, or our starter sort of random area here. And today we're going to be starting off by, well, clearing an area, getting ready for a lovely carrot and potato villager powered farm. Because who wants to, who legit wants to go ahead and just do this themselves i'm too i'm too lazy to do this all, this all the time so as in the fifth attempt already recording this little bit because for some reason the audio has gone all whack on wackadoodle on me we are going to be clearing out this area down here we are going to build a medieval sort of style village i'm calling it style because i'm dreadful at building so we're going to see what it ends up turning out like but so far I've designed up one building, sort of designed up one building that fits around the potato and carrot farm. Have you guys escaped out of your hole? Oh yeah, I forgot I died here. Okay, now let's just put you guys back in there. So what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and clear out all the grass around this area here. As in grass, these bits, these grass things here. And I'm going to flatten down the area a little bit to start getting it set up for the farms. Or for the houses, I'm going to call them. But I want to keep this mound up here because this is where I'm going to build a lovely iron farm. Which I've got designed so far. Still working on it. Into a um, lovely church tower. So that should hopefully be nice. The church tower farm design. I couldn't really find a scoop one anywhere so I just copied the one that Exuma Void had in his latest Hermit Graph video because that there looked perfect and it fitted inside a thin tower and all the other towers I had built so far have been too big and fat but that's probably not going to happen this episode it will happen in the next one so I'm going to stop my rambling on because I've been doing it for a few minutes already now I'm going to go ahead I'm going to smooth out this area around here light it up to prevent any mobs from killing me I'm pretty good at dying at the moment and I might just smooth out the train a little bit we'll see how it goes so I'll see you guys in a few minutes here we go everyone after a while the area is starting to look nice and lit up now as you can see I've got a couple of spruce growing down there just to try and get some supplies ready for the house and I'm going to probably place it down in behind the spruce. I've got an area marked out. Because up here I want to try and build the lovely iron farm. Which should be good. It's going to take up that whole area. So it's up on a high elevation. So I'm just going to pop down there. And I'll show you what the area looks like closer up. And here we go everyone. This is what the area looks like down here. All nice and lit up. So hopefully it should prevent a few mobs from trying to kill me. Which should be great. And I was thinking I'm going to be building the lovely little house or farm that's going to go in this area just here. Shouldn't take up too much room. It should be a nice quick little build to do. And it will be looking out through its front door up honouring the church which will be up around here somewhere. So I'm going to go get the supplies and we're going to go in and start building this lovely little farm house thing. Okay, runs. So this should be all the supplies here we need for the lovely villager carrot and potato farm. This is just the basic ones to start off with anyway. We can always add it more to expand it up and down. It's got some lovely spruce wood there. Got some oak, which we're probably going to strip back. Some bricks here as well from trading with the villagers. And some glass windows in that there. I forgot to mention last time, to, I ran out of um, coal when clearing out this area here for torches and that there. So I went on a mining trip and I got a lovely one of these enchantment tools here. And I've been using it for quite a while, same as this one here, and it doesn't seem to lose the durability at all. Like when you're constantly using it, it's got constant durability. It does, does not want to go down. But I also found a little handy trick as well, which is putting it into your offhand. And it makes these tools just dig so much more quicker as well. Which I know you're probably not meant to use it like this way. But it does great for insta mining or the dirt. Because if you have it left off, I'll just let that go away. It's just so much more slower. But yeah, that's what I found out when I was using it. It just does not, like over time, it does not just lose durability. Which 
I'm not sure if that's meant to happen or not. I did do a post on the game that no one seemed to answer. Because I'm just probably a bit of a new probably a bit of a new question, but yeah, I'm not exactly sure why what well, should be it should be losing durability. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start building off this house here. And it's not too complicated, it's just a pretty simple design. So I'm gonna go and update you in post little bits. Would be nice if I could just do a, like a little video of me building it up, but I don't think I can do that at the moment. Not sure if the replay mod is allowed. And I have to learn how to really install that. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start building that up probably around this area here. And I'll see you guys in a few updates time. Here we go. Here's a little update here. This is what the building base is going to look like down the bottom. I still have to add in all the detail on that there. But this is the simple villager farm. As you can see, what the villagers are. All this is going to be the potatoes up here. And the villager stands here and chucks them back and forth. So it should in theory work out. And in here, just dug down a temporary hole at the moment. But uh, this will be a bit of glass here. And the villager will stand right up here. And his friend will be able to see him through there. Got a storage area down below we'll put in. And we'll bring the villager through in here. Probably should really keep some blocks out. And he comes away and farms in here. I'll add his, in his little workbench when he comes to it. And he chucks some bits through here. And then let's just bring that there up. And he tries to chuck it to his friend. And when he does, it gets instantly picked up, in theory, by the minecarts here. And then if we pop through here, and I have like a little stair going down here, it should be down in the bottom there. Perfect. And this farm design I've used for a few years now. And I think... It was from OMG Craft where I'd found it originally. But I was just trying to find some designs that would fit inside a nice little building. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to work ahead and finish the next layer here and probably start putting the roof on. Then it will start coming together and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, run here's a little update of what the little house is now looking like. It was looking pretty good. In my opinion, it's looking all right. The bricks that are up there, those are originally meant to be um, dark oak slabs, which I don't have any at the moment. But this is what it's looking like. I think it's looking all right. I've got to add in a bit of details going around and about. As you can see, it's just roughly done at the moment. I've left a big gap down the middle there to drop the villages in from the top. But as you can see, the farm area is looking all right. You just have to not look too closely inside because it's all sort of a behind the scenes thing at the moment so if you open up the roof oh maybe not there let's open it up just here and you can see like i'm not going to really tidy it up because you're never going to see in here as long as a farmer can get around and about it should be all good so let's just maybe check a couple of torches down there so it's a nice simple little build really and I'm a dreadful builder, being honest with you. I like just building farms on the on in the world pretty much, and they're pretty honestly dreadful looking. So I'm gonna be trying my best to try and design and build an area that actually looks appealing-ish to the eye. There's some flaws which people probably won't like at all, which I have built it down slightly, trying to create a little bit of a depth in that there to the build. I'm gonna add some more bits on. Like these patches like this here which probably isn't that good but it is what it is it looks better and yeah it took me quite a while to get it like this here and honestly to design this little shack up took me far longer than i really want to admit so i'm going to take a little break from the building and i'm going to go ahead and we're going to pop over to the spawn and i'm going to see what we can get out of the lovely vote crates as i haven't done that for a couple days now Hopefully we'll be able to get some decent amounts of things. I'm not exactly... There should be 12 vote keys there as far as I'm aware. I think there is a way to check them by going onto the vote. By going onto the vote here. And back to GI which I just randomly clicked on before. And I think that's the next voting. Last total daily votes, weekly votes. 
I think there's a probably a way you you currently have 58 points so let's just click on this here and it's given us some um, enchanting book things which I'm still figuring out how they go and so in theory that should drop down to what 58 so 49 then no okay so I'm just gonna I'm a, I must have about 12 anyway so some sand some steak as the uh, voting keys are gone now invisible so steak beautiful need a lovely better source of food than what I currently have which is nice and handy let's see what else we can get Ooh, that's beautiful we've got a lovely couple netherite inlets from that they'll be handy once we get some decent armor to put that on let's see what else we can get <laughs> another netherite inlet that's pretty cool pretty lucky some d oh dark oak beautiful that's what we're needing for our roof a voting hoe unbreaking two pretty handy hopefully that goes down durability okay so i think we just had six votes there by the looks so in total we got some well, some baked potatoes or jacket potatoes don't know why it's called jacket potatoes i call them baked potatoes uh copper anglets beautiful i don't have many of those here but yeah the other anglets are the best ones out of there and we've also got some lovely spawner crate keys as well but I think I'm going to save those up for a little bit later and see what we're actually going to get. So now, I suppose it's back to finishing off the build. Or, I suppose, transporting the painful villagers into the brand new workplaces. Let's call it workplaces. Definitely not a cell where they're going to be working for free labor. Okay, let's start moving them over now. Okay, okay, I've got a couple villages just loading up here. It's a little bit funky trying to get them in, but that is alright. I'm bouncing back and forth. So let's see if we can get one more. No. Okay. Here we go. Got the last villager in there, so he should hopefully join in that area there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove those blocks there, chuck that there down, and we're just gonna hop up here here push this guy here down and around come on come on buddy you can do it and let's move this one here around as well and hopefully i've got this whole area connected up in theory okay that's a bit annoying so i'm just gonna put that down there and a little bit of coal in and push them along okay so i've managed to get some of the villages here so far which is good we're just going to start by, I suppose, putting in our first farmer guy in here. Hopefully that will work. Let's move it a little bit more out of the way so he doesn't end up dying or anything stupid like that there. So, place a rail underneath there. And that should, in theory, let him go along. Nope. Okay. Let's take that out of the way rebuild that and we're going to use that there again to push them up that should hopefully work and oh no sorry did not mean to you no, no don't run away Okay, got the first villager in there, so we should just be able to pop down that farm station and hopefully when it becomes day, he should connect into that there in theory. Hopefully, that's how it should work. Here we go, we just drop down the other villager in there. So what I have in... Mm, that's not what I had in mind. And this should be the last villager going in there. In theory, that's what should be happening. So now all the villagers should be inside. And hopefully we should start to see some lovely carrots and potatoes coming in here. 
I might just give it a little bit of time to sort of work its way through and hopefully see if it is working. So what I'm going to go do now is I suppose I should go and just tidy up this place just a little bit. Not too fancy because yeah, I'll, I'll do it at some other stage in the future. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll see you guys for the final clip of the video. Okay everyone, so this is what it looks like. Very simple and basic. I'm not the best at designing places at all, but let's just pop up here. Look, look somewhat alright. It's a be a work in progress, I think. I think obviously added a few buttons there, a little bit of mossage to the roof to try and add a little bit of age to it and sort of like a jagged sort of pathway around here. You know, I've tried to hide all the light sources underneath some moss blocks, a couple flowers in that round and a couple berry bushes in that as well just to try and make it a little more homely I suppose to give it sort of a little surrounding area and if we pop in here hopefully there should be some bits in here. Not bad, not bad. At least it's working, that is the main thing. So I'm going to go here eventually and I'm, yeah, I'm going to expand the farm down because it's pretty easy to stack all the way down. But that is all I'm going to really be doing for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me build this little thing. And hope it was sort of entertaining enough. As you can see, I've got pretty shocking gear. I really need to work on getting some better stuff, which I might do in between. Oops, pop down that way there. But next time, I think we're going to start conquering up on the hill back there try and make a lovely little steeple or church steeple there and try and get ourselves a lovely iron farm up and running so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed watching this little random little video and we will see you in the next one if there is another one which there most likely will be thank you guys for watching and enjoy the rest of your day goodbye